Okay, so welcome back. This is going to be part four. And uh, we just ended the turn as we can see. Not much happened. Okay. We're building the Oracle in Madrid because nobody seems to have gone for that. And we're also building the Machu Picchu in Seville. So hopefully we'll be able to get those. Oracle I'm not so sure about. The Picchu I'm a bit more confident with. Um, but Cordoba has also finished with their stonework. So we're going to get a marker over here. Maybe a shrine. The shrine would be good, and then a mark. So we can also buy another pagoda somewhere. So Toledo seem to need one. Yep. So my happiness and culture and faith is like booming right now. It's really good. Um, we're also getting our last city connection up between Honolulu and Samoa. before he upgraded the ivory. So have we met everyone in the game? I think we have one more person to meet. And Poland are actually quite good um, friends with us. They don't hate us for warmongering. Same with the Byzantine people. Hmm. So we can befriend Poland. No, they don't want to do it just yet. Maybe in a bit we can befriend them. Um, we can see about Byzantine and Denmark as well at some point. But for now we'll just be friendless. So our settlers ready, he can come and make a city over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the idea of turning Byzantine against France, just so they can kill each other, because they're so close. And then we could start a war on France, maybe befriend Byzantium. And then while we kill France, the 50 turns of friendship will uh, be passing, and then after it we can just attack the Byzantines. Now what is this guy doing? Forest dropping. So we're working our way to a golden age as well, which is pretty nice. 28 happiness per turn, so we'll be there in no time. No, uh, this warrior is going to have a little peek, everyone's just going to have a nose around. Um, So the gold is completely up there, he can start building the pasture. Try and come try and find the last player. t'offre cette proposition uh, exceptionnelle. Losing grasp on Zanzibar. Let's see if they've got any quests. No quests for them. So we might have to throw some gold at them just to keep them as allies. So that's quite a formidable army they have, so... If we're eventually planning to go to war with France, we want to keep Zanzibar on our side. Because this army would really kill us. So Toledo finished the granary. They can start work on a market. Got a city connection. So this is a great old tiles here. No, not trading boost. Um, So 
so the French and the Byzantines are trading. Um, which reminds me, we should be able to get another trade caravan at some point. It would be a good idea. But all these cities are very well, very um, undefended, sorry. Um, they don't have much of a military. So if we went full military after we get these two world wonders, uh, we could do pretty well, I think. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what their diplomacy is. France, don't really care. Byzantine, don't really care. And they're very equal, 4, 6, 7 each in terms of their score. Oh, there's a nice part of camp we can go in there. If I chariot archer can race down, he might be able to kill this barb camp and get the worker back, although France look like they're going to do it before we get there. Would they cost to Bonjour. declare war on J'écoute. One gold per turn, pearls and gold to an open border. La France. And the other way around. It'd be. Melima. They don't want to, so France would seem to have the upper hand. Although they do have cataphracts. And uh, if they could defend and do quite well, I think. <laughs> We're going to remove our stuff from France's borders because they don't like it. Our city's going to be set up, I think, on the hill. Move best. I don't know. It's a tough choice, isn't it? I think we'll set up maybe in the middle. It doesn't need to be too defendable, um, even though we do are planning a war. I don't think that city's going to take much fire. Okay. Um. Okay, we don't want to. We don't want to fight you yet. We want to uh, turn you against Byzantium and then fight you. So you have nothing to worry about. So it looks like they have their own religions now. Well, Byzantium's pretty much guaranteed to have one. So she's trying to spread her religion to France. Peace Redux, Final Polynesia. What? It's fine. We've got drama and poetry. So we're going to zoom along to civil service in no time. <laughs> and we'll start building some trading posts. Let's, um,. Let's actually pay the price to get them at war. Bonjour. Continue. Though I guess we want to be a little more ready La with our army first. So we probably want to hit um, civil service at least. Um, yeah, although I don't want France to declare war on me because they, they probably don't like that I've got stuff hanging around their, their borders. I'm going to try and move that stuff away. This chariot archer, however, is going to do some more exploring. So a couple more forests for the capital. And we're going to trade in person. in that. And you can go ahead and attack Poland if you want. Well, Poland and Polynesia are no friends, so Poland's not going to like me. But I still don't want to declare war on them. New unit from Belgrade. What did they give us? A cannibal. Nice. Ok, 
Okay, we finished a shrine over here. Hmm. I guess we could build the writer's guild somewhere other than the capital. Because we don't have high enough population to work all of the, uh, the guilds. So would it be better to do it in Cordoba? I don't know. There's not too much food here, so it wouldn't grow that much. So maybe we'll build it somewhere else. So instead we're just going to build a market over here, seeing as we're building markets in nice places. Got the iron, so we can trade that away. Instead of a market, is really a caravan. So we're gonna get another one of those. We could get a cargo ship. Is there any coastal cities we can do trading with? Yeah, maybe Barcelona all the way to Troy is there. Um, yeah, we'll get a cargo ship. Though we don't really have the navy to defend it, so maybe safer with a caravan for now. Okay, we'll settle our city. Hmm. Sell it here. Just want to get the monument straight away. That can be the first priority, the monument. And uh, we can get some workers over after he's finished the ivory there. Then they can start upgrading all of this iron we're going to get. France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. Bien sûr que non. Ah, il stole le Machu Picchu. We had 18 turns anyway. Il coûte ses prépos d'attes salotrias homilias. Me dixas. They want open borders so they can spread their religion, and we don't want that. And he had a negative diplomacy thing. Building new, new cities too aggressively. And Byzantium agrees. So they both don't like me. So Bonjour. I think now would be a good time to. Uh, Continue. Pearls and gold. La France yeah, we can offer cette proposition exceptionnelle. So, oh, so we're down to six happiness actually. Where? That is a shame. Um, but we can build another pagoda somewhere. And we can get some other pearls. Um, so if we buy a workbook, we can buy that. Tile. We can get another pearls resource. So we'll be okay there. The Zanzibar need to be our friends as well, so we can throw 200 gold at these guys. So we'll get sugar and porcelain and then mercantile, so yeah, that boosts us up to 14 in the state allies with them. Um, so the Machu Picchu wasn't built here. I don't know. What should we do? We'll build a market. That's only four times. It looks like I was halfway through that already. We start building the Picchu. And we'll let those two fight each other. Oh, these horses aren't upgraded yet. We'll go and upgrade those. Another city state here. A religious one. So we're going to send some units down to watch the, uh, the fireworks between these two, or I can just sit there. Hopefully, it won't get in the way. Good. 
Maybe I'll perch him on top of the hill, that seems more out of the way. And he might be able to see more of what's going on. So I don't want to stop them pushing into each other's territory. No, it's a lot less sight actually, but I uh, he can build a mine. I can just wait there. And what can this guy build? He can come over to the new city. Same with this worker. Again, some big battles going on between France and Byzantium now, which is what we want, which is what we paid for. Hopefully, we'll zoom into the Golden Age, um, and then we'll get our the luxuries we traded away back after the Golden Age has ended. Any more things to uh, upgrade than this? Uh, these cities up here. So this one I can head over as well. I can start building the road maybe between Santiago and Seville. Same with this guy. So we're gonna have a ton of workers just upgrading the new city really quickly. Okay, now we're trapped and um, we can't get past Poland because they don't have open borders with us, so this guy can head back. We get our pals back. We've got to remember to take this off production focus as well. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, attack France before catapults become redundant, because it's going to be a little while before we get into physics. Although, we have got quite a lot of science it seems, because that is quite quick to be able to get those, um, those techs. It is quite quick, so yeah, we're going to keep boosting that science, I think. Um, we don't want to lose all this progress when we're going to fall behind. So we'll keep up with the science. And maybe we will end up heading to the Musketman uh, Gunpowder Tech. Oh, and I forgot to build a Pagoda. I'll have to find out where, which place doesn't have a Pagoda. Because that has a lot of faith. Okay, so, so all these are going normal. Yeah, it is on normal. Yeah. Next time we'll be able to get an, another pagoda. Ivory to Napoleon. We're checking all our resources. So we've got three ivory and one of everything else. Bonjour. Continue. They won't even give six, so France really don't like us. See if anyone else wants it. Well, they don't have any money. We already have it. He'll die. We already have it. May I have a Melima. Ikusa se prepo da tesalo tri. And I guess we may as well give it to France for a lower price, Bonjour. just because we've got a spare copy. J'écoute. Not even for six. La France t'offre. So we should have one left at this point from a city-state. Yeah, one ivory. Right. And in Seville we can start 
go all day. We don't really need happiness, we don't really need faith. We're quite good on everything really. Guess we could get a granary. Uh, or an amphitheater might be good. Get our policy back. We just seem to be doing well for all stats here. It's been quite a good game. I wonder if they bothered to kill this encampment yet. Probably did. Seven times a row. So we have all the wonders stolen from us, but oh well, doesn't matter too much. We can get back to building some normal things in our capital. I think we can finish off the artist guild. That'd be quite good. And we've got a caravan over here so we can build. Um, let's go with a temple. We don't need anything. Market. Get a market. And the capital can build the artist guild. So these guys can start building a road actually towards Santiago. Although I guess we don't need that right now, we can do that later. This caravan would need to move to Seville would seem to be the best place. So if we can reach Constantinople. Yeah, they did take that encampment. So France is actually quite a, a large empire with quite a lot of military, so hopefully the war will be um, quite bad for them against Byzantium. If Byzantium only have one city though, we'd have to go and explore. So all the wonders are getting snapped up, I don't think we're going to go for a wonder again uh, for quite a while. Maybe we'll head to the Neuschwanstein way later on, um, all the way up here to Railroad. The only okay, Zanzibar desires copper. Let's see if anyone's got copper. France has only got one of it. So we're not going to be able to get them to give it to us for a very cheap tool, so we'll ignore that quest for now. And we can head into chivalry because we have so many horses, we can just spam conquistadors here. And then uh, maybe we could go into... I don't know, so many things I want. We'll rush chivalry, we'll get our conquistadors out. That should be pretty good. And then we'll try and get um, the barracks in the capital, and maybe one other place. Maybe in Barcelona as well. And we'll try and like, pump out a load of conquistadors and attack someone. So this guy can actually start building a road, we can just build it back this way. This catapult can get ready over here. Let's see, we can't reach Constantinople, so we might have to go to Santiago here. Jak ci się podoba moja oferta? Belgrade Crest Road. This should be easy enough. So we just need one up from Cordoba here, so that's 5,000 road. 
finish the library over here. So we're getting the market. Santiago needs to get a library as well pretty quick so we can get a national college in our capital. And we will get a city connection. So this guy can go on a road. This guy can come upgrade the silver. Okay, Constantinople plus three science per turn, plus five gold. Pretty good. Take that. So France does seem to be the strongest out of Byzantium and France in terms of uh, their military power. La France t'offre cette. So. I don't know. We'll probably attack France. Byzantium seem to have higher defense in their cities, and we only have catapults, so it might be a better idea to attack France for that reason as well. We've got Santiago became religious. We we'll grab our pagoda. So this will probably be the last pagoda that we buy. Um, maybe we don't even need it. Maybe we can skip that and... Um, I know, it would be good to get it early, I guess. So we'll grab a pagoda, and then we'll go full into faith by uh, units to go Spain with. And we can produce them in our cities as well. So got five turns into border growth, and we'll just wait on that stone to it expands there. So they've completed that, uh, one of them, and then we'll have more horses. But I think we'll end it here for this part, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next part, and I'll see you next time.